Okay, three games to go. Yep, we're starting to one two. He said yep. I asked him, he said yes. Perfect time. Impressive. I'm a little bit exhausted even watching this game. Impressive underwater rugby. Really impressive. Okay, we had a little visit from uh, Manuel. Udevala. And sea lines. Interesting. Interesting. Couldn't give up a prediction here. Mm. How they play earlier today? Let me check. Uh, okay. Udevala. Watch it, brother. Ten seconds. Curious here too now. Our Sweden against the US. Let me see how they play a little today. Okay. Well, the Vala well, play against our quick and they lost to zero. If we have a cluster and we saw that in the last game of the sea lines. A lot of uh, cluster down, building. Down, and and against March 3 0. Call from the Recess. referee holding without ball. White free ball. White free ball. Holding. White free ball. Holding. And it's against uh, the Sea Lions. The Sea Lions lost only 1 0 against Aqua Quick. And. 1 0 against March. So Sea Lions should be, statistically speaking, the. Um, strongest team if we compare it the result they had earlier today, which is always difficult to to compare. Yes, so I know, let's go but that's the, the only information we have. Let's uh, see what what is happening here on the screen. Uh, sea lines on the attack already nestled around, uh, nested in around the basket. Nested, okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like building their base there and uh, occupying the space under the. Um, Udivala, uh, the Swedish basket, now back on the surface, passed down and an attack, stopped on the close side. So um, right now the sea lines are controlling the game with a lot of uh, effort pushing in on the basket, but the defense of Udivala is uh, holding strong. They don't give them that much room and the possibilities to build that's up the attacks. Oh, this is that's this close. Is yeah. I mean, oh, now the next one with the ball, but uh, it's got... Uh, from the try to push in the goalkeeper from the open side, didn't succeed. Second one come in, but he's tackled away by the Uruwala player. But, it's but there's a lot of pressure. Call from it's the referee. It's a white, blue free ball. Oh. White free ball, white free ball. So it's uh, for uh, the Sea Lions. Free throw. So they can keep up the pressure they put on the US basket. Udivala didn't have a chance yet to, to leave, really leave their own basket. And uh, this is uh, the, the more time they spend there under pressure, the more dangerous it gets for them to catch a goal. We're up to the surface. Well, what, what Look probably down. which team will you say this dominating? Out of the area. And it's out of the playing area. White free ball. Right now, White it's Sea Lions. Ball. But I haven't seen Udivala breaking out yet. Either they are waiting for the for the right moment, some teams do, um, or they cannot. I, can't, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> or a combination of both? Could always be. It's, it's never that easy. 
with a yes and no. Let's see. Okay, same, same. We have sea lions here together with Uruval and the cluster on the, the surface at the wall side. Nice camera switch. Thank you for the for the uh, oversight. I don't like these clusters. I always leave them, like Lisa said earlier. I uh, see no use in them. Um, I prefer even to give up the ball and to reposition myself because these clusters have so much energy and, and they they are just slowing down, breaking up the game. And I think the new rules allow the uh, referees to, to stop these yes, clusters. Yes, yes, yes. So if they, if they see, could be uh, at any time a referee could break them up. So here, Rodebala, this is what I waited for, to see them in the counter-attack and going forward. And I think they can, Lorena. I think the answer is um, they waited and they can. Well, I, I mean, it was never a question I that it, they couldn't. It's just... Um that you don't know how the tactics are going to annulate each other, you know, and yep. see how they can uh, act. So now we have uh, the sea lions recovering. Look down, look down. Look down. <coughs> it's white free ball. Okay, free throw for the sea lions. The sea lions. Okay. That's, that's really tough. Holding the, the basket, warning. Okay, the number 12 got a warning. From uh, Udevala. Get that? Yes, holding the basket. Oh, hold. Number 12. Yeah. Let me see, team lead number 12 is um, from the sea lion. But nevertheless, here Rudevala is uh, back in ball possession going for the how. US basket. But uh, the sea lions are wide awake here. They tried to I intercept see, before see. something happened, but that was, uh, that was dangerous. The defender was leaving his position and opening up a gap which uh, is already occupied by a uh, Swedish player. But Sea Lions are in ball possession and going forward. Nice pass forward. And we're back at the Swedish basket. Defense is in position. Goalkeeper is in position. Odivala is ready to defend their territory. And up again mm. on the surface. Ball just dropped out. Nice pass on the back. It's a... Uh, we are really good play here from the sea lions. They okay. have the space and to act. And they they, they are more in, in position of the ball, right? I mean, yep. the possession, not position, possession. Okay, that was close. I mean, they removed the, the goalie. However, look the down, next goalie. Look down. Holding. Holding. It's Holding without Holding ball. With the ball. Okay. Right through. It's two minutes. Blue number twelve. Okay, wow, the number twelve tough. got. Yep. He got the warning. And we have a blue timeout. Peter Settenberg. And the reason is holding on the basket. Apparently, he had a warning before. Mm. That way, it's two minutes penalty time. So now uh, Udebala just uh, for a timeout, which is very strategically uh, good idea. Because they're going to be with five uh, people in water, so and and uh, there's a free throw for the sea lions, um, so they need to first breathe and see how they reorganize themselves. Because we don't okay. know with position Peter plays. Anyone can tell us in the audience, Peter Setterberg, which position he plays, and so they need to see that make sure they have the goalies. Because that's the problem. If they tell you, okay, one player, any player can go out. You can. Have a plan as a coach and say, okay, this position normally is one of the, the, the attackers that you take out, so you make sure you have the goalies and you have the defenders. But when it's someone specific, and let's say if it's the goalie, and then, then you need to make sure you have the defending area cover. Uh, any idea? What's the position of Peter from Udebala? Anyway, let's see. Mm, Sweden now with five players, so they need to be very, very concentrated. They cannot really they have to be maybe more in the waiting side of the, uh, but also not leaving a lot of space uh, for the US to build up, but somewhere in between so they, they don't exhaust themselves and then 
you know, at this stage, at this level, one player less can be a lot. So um, we have the players from the Sea Lions, right underneath the basket, fighting and goal. Well done for the Sea Lions, well taken, I mean, advantage of the situations. Now the penalty what? normally time. finishes because they... Uh, the penalty time. The penalty time, yes. Sorry. So now the yeah, Udebala should be back with two players. I have to admit, um, even though the counter-attack of Udebala was, was very nice and there would have been a chance, but the hard work and the ball positioning time and pressure on the basket, uh, it was earned by the sea lines mm. here. This goal definitely yeah. um, in their favor. But a tough game and uh, Udebala is still uh, not out of it. We are still in the first half, last two minutes of the first half. And uh, the, the chances are wide open for both teams, and especially for Udevala to turn the page around and score. So, yeah, we're still in the first half, and both teams are strong, so it can be anyone's games One today. Minute. One minute. One minute. One goal is. I mean, it is, it but it it's nothing, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to uh, be dismissive, but... Um, two goals are different. Yeah, that's, two that's goals is already, you know, more safe. Still, we have seen games yeah. change around. But one goal, you can't be certain of anything, so you need to be very, very But uh, the sea lines careful. really can now uh, um, play this uh, first half in their favor and wait for the time to tick down. But they, they, at oh, they attack. There's another nice chance. Well played. But they, they go out, they don't have to go with in with everything they have and risk losing the ball. So they're uh, playing, using a chance, half a minute left. But if there is no chance, they keep the ball in the, in the run, up on the surface. Yeah, I mean, the Udebala players are also dangerous. They can have counter-attack, they're quick. Yep, we saw and that. So they can, exactly, so they need to be, to play that smart. Okay, they just lost the ball. It just looks like Udebala recovered and is trying to bring the ball Five up, but it's just seconds. three, three, two seconds, really almost nothing left. So Stop the game, stop, stop, stop. They didn't hear stop. the... the um, End of the first half, the, 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 the horn. The horn, yes, thank you. Huh. So. Interesting game again. No Swedish fans watching. I see it looks like Colombia continues playing because it continues in Spanish. <laughs> but as I mentioned before, there's uh, some uh, players from Colombia that moved to the US and created a team there. So this is what you see. But what about the Swedish fans? Are you there, Swedish fans? Nice, nice game. And uh, also, uh, I liked the, the, the game of Uribala here too. Um, they, they are counter-attack showed they are capable of uh, switching the side and going the attack. Um, but it was just too much time spent on the, uh, on the basket, under pressure. So it's really difficult to keep up um, because the, the sea lines are able to score here. We saw that and uh, they are just working hard to get to open up the chance to do this. Um, interesting, very good underwater rugby from both teams here. And we still have a half to go, so uh, no decision here, no final decision here. So we are uh, going to the end uh, of the first day. Um, after this game, we have two more games to go. Uh, we have uh, March against Aqua Quick, which will be very interesting. And um, Hesu from Finland against Wales. So, what would be the strategy of uh, Udevala in the second half? Go forward, break out of these constant pressure attacks from the US team. really difficult now for them because they have to open up and uh, we saw in the first half they were able to do this but uh, always open them up um, 
has in itself the risk the risk of uh, uh, creating gaps and catching uh, counter-attack and the sea lines are fast and fast on the goal so they have to be careful um, curious if Odivala changes their strategy now and I think they are capable of uh, changing them so I'm curious White team ready. Team's getting Ten ready. Seconds. Here we go. And uh, it, it's always an interesting moment, this, this first swimming to the ball in the middle, but it's not decisive who gets it there. And Udevala here, we see it now, uh, an attack. The player is trying to drill into the defense of the sea lions and this is pressure let's see if they try to tackle them to the surface yes they do sea lions are trying to um, cluster them away to the surface okay one zero for the sea lions i was just wondering uh, yes. look um, down. if uh, urivala oh is going to change their tactics blue free ball blue free ball and this is in favor of uh, Udevala now. And we have one player, a Swedish player, trying to uh, get in position for the Madla. I love when they do. I mean, I, I love that attack. I really love the name. I love it. I, t I try to do it, but I'm not good at it. I need to practice this more. But it gets too short, you know? <laughs> we have some Swedish audience there. Great. I know that you are not as vocal as the Colombians, but you know. <laughs> Your team, when I know you're there, you know, cheering up for them. Um, Switch of sides again, and uh, the sea lines are pushing again into the defense. We have a cluster on the surface. And uh, Marla was the name of the shrimp, right? Yep. It was the 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 no, at least a lot. Yeah. I mean, you were there. Um, oh, it's uh, uh, Marla meant like a shrimp or so, no? And it was also like a, a kind of an opener kind of thing, right? So still in the cluster, and uh, Udivala players try to push the cluster on the surface away, and uh, the sea lion players are pushing on the other side. So we have a back and forth of this cluster on the surface that is not. Um, moving really fast by so Wow, counter-attack from the Bala. Wow, no. well look the four players of the Lions. I mean, right yeah, there. Fast. Great. I mean, impressive recovering from change, you know, switching this yep. from attack yep. to defend. And let's see if the Bala is there. Their position, there's three. I mean, and they're trying to pass look break down, the defender. What happened? Ball from the referee. Like it's holding. Ball. Free ball for the oh, white pushing. team, so pushing with our ball. Pushing the goal there. Okay. Tutserne also watching. Team nice to have so there. many people from all around the world. 250. Martin and Lau. Hey, Martin. Hey, Lau. Where are you watching from? Tuzane. And what time is it where you are? No, not them. I mean, <laughs> everyone else. The 250 or 49 people that are... Sea okay. Lions trying again uh, to get into the defense area, but they are again tackled up to the surface. And this is a common th thing, thing we uh, saw in the game. In the game here of the Sea Lions. And it's... Uh, Wow, that's that's very close, but you know wow, until nice now. Oh, nice pass behind the yeah, back. Oh, okay, the ball passed. I want to repeat it because it was a very good position, but uh, Udevara had always been able to, to recover from this attack and, and get the ball. Sealands really have to be careful here. Uh, they don't have to. They they have to prevent Udevala from uh, counterattacking because they are good for it. and They're waiting for it. And on the other hand, Udevala really has to be careful mm. not to give sea lines too much space mm. around the basket. Yeah. And they have 
a little bit over five minutes, but they need to start recovering that ball. It's dangerous. It's a lot of very close to the basket. The, the, the goal is just changed, and it was like there a gap there for a minute. But Udevala has the ball and is trying to uh, swim a counter attack, pass it to the next. Now it's, ah, that should have been one of the players there, but they have been under attack. They, they are, you know, they're just recovering. They're coming from the defensive, and that's a pity because um, if they would have Look got down, already one down. play in, in the forward position, they could have been attacking and maybe Again. achieve a score. Let's see what happened. 97, two minutes, and your referee, two minutes. Two minutes. 97 for, for, for uh, uh, tr okay. let me see. Why timeout? Okay, so the, the Sea Lions uh, have a time penalty for one player. The player uh, 97, number it's 97. Andres Leal Guato. But it's not showing still. Anyway, the, well, if they are asking for a timeout, it's yeah. just to probably um, see how they can get organized. Yeah. Uh, yeah. ¿Qué posición juega uh, Andres? Who can tell me what position Andres plays? So we can have an idea and give it some thought how they're going to regroup and how we, because so you know. So with, with the time left, with yeah. the time left, um, and sea um, lines with one player less, this could be a moment for uh, Uruguala to change their tactics and go more in the offensive. But they have they have to force a decision now. Okay, first of all, thank you for all of you watching from Miami, Boston, Bregenz in Austria, London. London, Vietnam. I would like to know what's the most um, <laughs> un away. uncomfortable uh, hour that some of you are watching. <laughs> if it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning or something. Okay, uh, but, but no, okay, Lorena, let me answer one yes, thing yes, yes, because yes, they're asking be why they're Colombians and Sea Lions. And they're Colombians and Sea Lions because Colombians that moved to the U.S created the team okay so don't think that some Colombians from colombia are playing for this team because this is not allowed in champions cup so that's why yes now it's all your words so no 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 i just wanted to say it's, it's an important moment because uh, this is the chance of udubala they yeah. have four S minutes left and, and they, they have six two minutes uh, with uh, six people two players less with one player less in the u.s team so one possibility is what uh sea lines doing now is just tackling uh holding on to the ball and cluster up. But here we go, there's an attack. One player from Udevala trying to come from above mm. into the basket area, but uh, didn't succeed, was tackled away too. That's a, that's a tactic, you can go this way. It's not uh, the, the beautiful style, but it's uh, effective. Another Udevala player, oh, he got the pins in his face. Ah, here's another one waiting for the Mela. Didn't get the ball. He didn't see where the ball is. Ah, that was close. So yeah. really nice to <laughs> I'm watching, I cannot speak Lannis. because I'm like <laughs> almost like doing apnea, not breathing. 30 seconds left uh, in the time penalty and sea lines will be back in full strength. And uh, they do a good job here holding Udevala away from the basket. This is another chance. They go in from the open side. This is very hard for the Sea Lions, huh? I mean, 30 yes. seconds until... Oh, that's really, really fragile situation. Ball, yes. look down, look down. ball is falling down, down. call from the referee. Okay, free, free throw. throw, all right. Yeah, and up. great job yeah. from the Sea Lions that could maintain two minutes of yeah. fierce attack from Udevala with only five I'd players. I'd say this was the chance of uh, the Udevala team uh, to score and to equalize. Now it's going to be difficult because they spend a lot of energy here in these attacks. And uh, we have cluster on the surface. Time is ticking now in favor of the Sea Lions. And here another attack from Udevala. Maybe they're really up for it. Oh, there was a. Two minutes to go, yeah. Now the ball is pressing more, right? Because uh, yeah, they could because recover they in this uh, these two minutes that they were six and. Uh, white free ball. Yeah, white I would have uh, given the same white free ball for this uh, for this uh, touching, holding the head.
one zero for the sea lions less than two minutes left still they need to be very careful because Udebala uh, players are very um, experienced and you know a little mistake a little loop of attention and then that's it it goes very very qu quick Don't so mind. we have now uh, the blue team from Sweden just recording the ball passing it trying to start a counter-attack being blocked by three white players that rec almost recovered the, the ball and are trying to start a counter-attack something Rupa. happened a uh, rough game and uh, free throw, free against throw the sea lions. for the blue Rupa. for Udebala so one more minute left Rupa. Rupa. one more minute left and uh, probably the definitely the last chance in this game for Udubala to score. One minute left. Uh, they have to throw everything now. They, I would go with every player forward, not caring about uh, my defense. And one Swedish guy prepared to do the Marla, and he's waiting for the ball, he's waiting for the ball, he cannot uh, see the ball. Yes, oh, God! Got it. Wow, uh, that was close, and that, that was, was the close. chance. I think this just happened, and it's... Uh, um, look down, look down. This is really like... Uh, that was the, that the was moment. The, yeah, the, I mean, he was really in a great position. He was looking to the back, White looking people. to the side, and it was very, very close. However, didn't work out. Ah. Again, the Sea Lions earned it. They worked hard for this goal. But uh, on the mm. other hand, I would have... Uh, Three, two, uh, I would one, have said Udevala zero, also did a good job here. 1-0 for the Sea Lions, great match, tough really game. tough game. Yeah. Also, this was like a thriller again, like Switzerland yep, yep, did yep, it. Yep, 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 everything was possible there until the last uh, minute. Okay, let me write down... Impressive, impressive underwater rugby. Thanks uh, to Twitter Baroon at... Ah, really out of it. Thanks to uh, Udivala and uh, thanks to the Sea Lions for this amazing for this amazing game. Um, it was a pleasure to watch and really, really, really cool. Thank you very much. So now it's coming up. We can't really catch a break because now it's March against Aqua Whale oh. and that water's oh. gone up. I love, I love to see this game. Bushir, how do you say in English? Uh, like boil. The yes, water, uh, the is, going the water is going to boil. It's going to boil cook. In, the, in the pool. So, do we have people from Aqua Quick? Do we have people from uh, Germany March, watching Germany, March and watching. from Denmark? Eh? So we have uh, yeah, this first spiel jetzt from March schon gesehen. I'm switching a little bit to German for the um, uh, German audience. We have this first spiel from March gesehen gegen die Sea Lions 1 zu 0, was ein um, sehr beeindruckendes Spiel von den Sea Lions war. Und um, ich habe das ja mit Lisa zusammen kommentiert. Und wir waren beide der Meinung, dass die beiden Teams sich ähm, effektiv relativ gut aufgehoben haben in der Art, wie sie gespielt haben. Sie sind beide nicht so richtig klar damit gekommen und können beide nicht so richtig ihr Spiel spielen. Ähm, wobei im äh, Markt mit dem einen Treffer dann äh, das Spiel für sich entschieden hat. Jetzt wird es spannend, weil ich denke, dass Aqua Quick ähm, eher in die Spiele einspielt, ähm, als dass die beiden wirklich eine, eine ähnliche Art haben zu spielen. So ja, würde ich auch sagen, die haben auch schon mal Lehrgänge zusammen gemacht, genau, die, die Spieler von sich. Denmark und äh, von, Malz, yes. äh, von, von Deutschland. So, uh, what I just said, I guess, uh, with, uh, with uh, what we've seen so far, um, the team from Aquafreak and um, the team from uh, Malz from Germany, um, Denmark, Germany, they probably know each other because uh, Germany has been in uh, many training sessions in Denmark and uh, the, the, the way they play is really comparable. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. It's not like the style of uh, Trichon Baroon against Colombia, but, but a similar system, similar sturdiness, similar uh, mindset to go into the game. And this is going to be interesting how and they both deal with physical. each other. it's going to be physical. Yes, it's going to be physical, I guess so too. Really excited? Me too.
Uh, we just say goodbye to uh, uh, some uh, Colombians leaving the pool area. Yeah, people really coming happy. in. Oh, it's nice to be here because we're in this, like in a uh, Enter glass, and exit and spot, and yeah. a glass uh, office there at the entrance of the pool, so we can see the teams coming in, coming out, leaving. So, so do we have German uh, audience? Do we have Danish audience? Eh? So Eva, we you were uh, watching. Are you now for the Danish oh, or for the German? So <laughs> we have one voting for Malch. They always are check strong, check. yes, but uh, don't underestimate uh, Denmark here, Aquaquick. I think they are strong too. So yeah. um, I, I tend also probably because I'm German, I tend a little bit because I know Malch better uh, than I do Aquaquick. I know how they play and they are solid, but what I saw from Aquaquick. It's going to be the challenge for March. Real curious. And the dating part is back in our commentaries. One minute. Mm, One I minute. couldn't. I think it's going to the first half is going to be zero zero. That's my 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 prediction for uh, I cannot say the second, but the first is going to be a zero zero in you my point of view. Yeah. But don't they need to win of the still not? It's not necessary to well win all of the, the games. The first right? half. The first half. Ah, okay. Yes. I think the first half is going to be zero zero. Hmm. Mind my words. I think because I know much more than I know Aqua Quick. Like I said, okay. me too. I could think maybe we could do for much, but yeah, I don't know. Six I, uh, players. Let's see, because I go quick. They never, they would never be here. They normally, normally we had. Uh, here we go in the game. Yep. So uh, here we go, Mulch in blue and Aqua Quick in white. Well, this is gonna be a fight. Oh, nice pass behind the back, which opened up the way for Mulch directly to the basket of Aqua Quick. And they're uh, in defense. Now we see them defending. Heavy attack from uh, one uh, player, March player, trying to get in from the close side. Second one wave coming in. Third wave coming in. But the defense is strong here from Aqua Quick. They're not giving away their basket. And we have March under the basket. This is a Whoa. dangerous situation. That there was no defender. And this is and yes, a goal. Yes. Goal wow. for March under the. F no, it's not. It's annulate. The, the referee is annulating the goal. Did he? Yes. Uh, well, the, the referee that is on this side, uh, it looks like. I mean, let's see. Um, let's hear what they are saying. Do we have a sound? We have no sound. Is this free throw? Uh, uh, there was, I think. Um, Did you see well a I sign? Uh, I saw it was just annulated. But you would have like heard it uh, on the surface. You would have heard it from the referee. Um, Look, it goes. Hmm, I don't see. No. Because it started to do it when, no, when no, they it was put a the score. I, I th I'd say it was a score. It was not. Anyway, it's not let's wait a bit. It's not in the list, but. Uh, um, we can ask someone here. I mean. Um, well, but uh, that was a strong opening and it was uh, setting Under the pace. Minute, yeah. Um, so was that counted or was it not? Interesting. We don't know. I think they annulated, but um, they could see the referee, but I couldn't hear why, what happened, what kind of fault. Because then there was a free throw. If it would have been a, a scoreboard, they would have started from the, from the back, and they started to continue with a free throw. So it was not. Um, So let's see, we have now uh, Malsh on the Danish side. Uh, we have like three players underneath uh, coming from the side, from the close side. One right underneath the basket, behind the defender, between defender and basket. But uh, Denmark recovered the ball and is trying to start a counter attack. Um. So, uh, okay, actually, it looks like no goal. There was no goal. 
Otherwise, you would have started yeah, from yeah, there. Yep, 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 you're right. But what I couldn't hear is why, what happened, what kind of uh, fault uh, was. I think anyway. it probably was because he was pushing the basket, so it, he, it was the, the. Yeah, like holding, looked like yeah, holding yeah. a bit. Anyway. But there was a, a strong opening, nevertheless, and March showed yeah, they one are. Minute, yes. And they're really going in here. The Danish team maybe got a little bit of scared. Now they have to, you know, put everything and be very, very much aware. Malch is controlling this game right now, and they are pushing hard from the uh, close side into the basket, into the defense, and coming in wave after wave, opening up space on the open side to, to receive the ball and not giving Akakuik a chance to break free which they did right now with the cluster on the surface. Ball is dropping down in the hands of a quick player. And luck, as I mentioned it, as, I, as it happens in all the comments I do, uh, when I just say they are not giving them a chance, here is the chance for Akkowik. And we're moving to the German basket. Uh, okay, M Michael is telling left hand on the wall. Thank you, because you couldn't hear. Somehow the, the sound with the referees is lost again. Yep. Maybe someone kick off the, the, the cable. Good, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now we have Malz in a counter attack very quickly. Well, however, three of the Danish uh, team are there. And it's uh, Malz still in, in ball position. Oh. And Coming on from above, from the open yeah, side. Yeah, and trying to pass. We always have, you know, a player on each side so that the one going above can decide where to pass it. And but the great defense from... Yeah, but nevertheless, they, they leave a lot of space for Malch under their basket. So we're a player waiting there to receive the ball. That is dangerous because each of them is, is able, um, if they're in the right position, to score at once if they receive the ball. So it is open, different play. I think the... the Akoic player are trying to do more offensive defense, but uh, like this, you see the situation when, when the March player was right, I think it was Jochen Schottmüller, right under the basket, waiting to receive the ball, but uh, nevertheless again, Akoic is doing a good job to interfere with the passing right, wow, like this, great. like they see the ball coming and they push it away and don't give March the opportunity to pass on to the player waiting there to score. It, it hurts yes, from yes, looking at I yes. mean, so physical it is. Yes. But it's fair physical. It's contact, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's just they play in contact. And here we have the first uh, counter-attack from Akowit. And they even try to steal the basket from the March player. They even there to do that. Yeah, well, it, in the counter-attack, in the <laughs> really fast counter-attack after yeah. they've been uh, defending for so long, they uh, have the, the air to go forward and try to steal the basket. That tells something. So they are not on their limit here. Okay, the fighting. Cluster oh, this is surface. pushing from above to the bottom. Let's see. Okay, the match play passes to another of their players, and they're trying to get out of the situation. They have the ball. They're trying to start a counter attack. And um, but you know the the aqua quick. Uh, they're always in position. So uh, let's see. Really good defense from Aqua Quick. Even though Very like here again, pass it. yes, but they always leave this this defender space to the Mulch players, and that is risky. Even though um, Mulch cannot uh, uh, execute their their attack on the on the basket and score, so it's uh, three minutes uh, twenty, three Holding minutes ten left without ball. I guess we go in the zero zero into the. In half. the second half. the second half, you said that. Yes, I did. Didn't I? You did. <laughs> okay, let's see. They're trying to go past the middle field, but Aqua Quick is really uh, for taking. Now uh, we are. On the side of the Aqua Quick, um, Malch pressing again. Malch is dominating the game. Aqua Quick is defending very good. However, they still not deciding the pace uh, of the game or what is going to be done. Let's but see if. But they're, yeah, they're it's amazing yeah. they 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 s withstand all this pressure they are into because Malch is an experienced team, and if they are in position like this, 
it's uh, it's amazing they haven't scored yet so it tells a lot about the defense capabilities yep. of uh, the aqua uh players yeah and there's one more game after this game so stay tuned let's see how it's going on this is a lot of pressure and a goal goal for miles sure no that's moving the head again did something happen we don't hear we don't hear the referees anymore so no 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 goal no again. again what wow. the wow. f let's see what, what happens okay let's see what happened he was trailing that has to be very frustrating Ball for miles pushing over there but uh, it's free throw for so it's no goal pushing. again pushing with our ball no goal again oh. very difficult for us here to see because we are we can see only the one half of the of the pool so but, but that's frustrating if you score two times but uh, they were fall playing and uh, good seeing from the referees but frustrating for the players who worked so hard for this moment and then it's got annulated uh, because of uh, uh, illegal pushing without ball so uh, still open and uh, one minute left and i guess my bet would be uh, will be uh, correct if not the scores now they are going in here on the last minute yeah let's see if they can uh, put some pressure on the on the german basket let's see what an attack pass to the other side two players um, we're at there and they were blocking each other a bit, but let's see if they could put the goalie up. I don't can see the ball, what happened? Call from the referee, free throw against Marge choking uh, or uh, strangling. It's okay, it's three meters, so 20 seconds. And the shoulder is a little bit in. <laughs> so don't underestimate Aqua Quick here. They are waiting for their chance. And they work for the chance. And a free throw, it's a timeout here for White. But for what? The, the, the first time is over. They just. Yes, okay, no, it's not. They just. I mean, they have one timeout per game. And they just ask for the timeout uh, when the, when the okay, game is over. over. Because how many seconds are left? I mean, I thought that they were uh, like, I don't know, 10 seconds left. Or I know that they may be like, to get some time to throw it up there uh, for them. But I, I just thought that it was just like 10 seconds left. No, not five seconds. It was a minute, I guess. But okay. nevertheless, I don't understand it either. Look, no, 16. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that was that was a little well, bit okay, uh, let's superfluous. See. Yeah, I think they didn't realize there was so... Probably not, yeah. Because they thought maybe they could plan and try to do an attack and do a goal, but they, it's going to be over before they can do anything. And that's going to... That, that, that has to be... Like, uh, for me, I mean, that's so wha what a did waste I win? of time out. Lorena, what did I win? I don't know. I didn't bet anything with I you. I predicted the future. Yeah, but, that, I mean, you didn't put any 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 bet on that with me. So I didn't? you yourself and you... I didn't? No. I didn't bet a hundred euro. No. Nope. You don't owe me a hundred euro. No. Nope. Oh, that's so bad. Interesting game. Um, and it was, I'd say, it was mostly of the time that the time of ball possession was in favor of March. The time of uh, attacks on the basket was in favor of March. Um, they scored two times, which was annulated because of uh, ball playing. And uh, ha. So what's your prediction for the second half? Yeah, that's both teams will will change a little bit of the tactics because they tested each other, they saw each other, uh, the, the playing way they played, so they can adapt to their tactics, and that's what uh, the, the number four is telling his team right now. Um, listen guys, this is what we do, and we have to do it really good. Focus uh, after this game, there is uh, another game, the last game of the day, that's going to be Hevelina from Finland again. Um, team formerly known as Rixu. From Wales. <laughs> um, uh, 
uh, Australia. So let's see uh, how that's going to be. That game can start in uh, 20 minutes. A little bit less. Than I can I can really don't say. I think it's in favor of Marsh because uh, they scored two times, even though it was annihilated. But uh, they had more pressure time on the basket, and they are uh, they will intensify uh, their attacks right now. Okay, uh, someone is asking what was that with the timeout, and that was a strange that they started the time uh, after the timeout before. Well, because that's the, um, how the rules here is, is, is uh, the time continues all the time. It's not being stopped while you uh, have um, uh, any kind of situation, being that a goal or being that a fall. I mean, it never stopped. That's why in the moment that they ask for a timeout, the, 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 the timeout starts, the moment the, the timeout is over, then the time continues. So let's go and back I in the game. And I guess that they did not realize that, and probably because they had a free throw on their favor, they thought just to maybe get organized and try to have an attack. I'm asking, because there's a question here in the, in the audience. And the, the, therefore, they didn't realize there was so short time. And then that's what I said. It was a little bit of um, pity because they that was not really... Um, being used in the, in, the, in the way they were willing. Anyway, we are back in the game and we have uh, again the team of Mals attacking the uh, basket of the Danish team and Bolt is opening a beer. <laughs> and Mals is about to attack. It was on the goalie, one of the players. However, I mean, in the last second was safe, but one of the Danish players the Danish players are reacting very, very well to the to the tactic of, of Malj and um, they're doing a good job, even though it's wrist wall. Oh, 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 okay. Goalie is gone and uh, okay, that ball was in the hands of the German for a second there. Nevertheless, now it's kind of chaotic. Let's see if um, Malj managed to score now or while well, Danish team just recovered the ball and trying to go but they are not in full control. We have the next oh, Malj player. Chance. Yeah, but it's pushing uh it, normally the, the chaos on a basket always uh, works in favor of the attacking uh, party, but here Malj couldn't really find their spot um, to go into the the gaps created. Now one match player is trying to attack from above. Call from the referee. We, we don't can't hear. hear I think so we, we need the audience. If we yet. can hear what the referees are saying, please communicate it here on the comments so we can something happen. Ah. So uh, white minute. player number one. Yeah. White. White player number one. So that means that uh, Aqua Quick is going to be on uh, five, five players. players. Let me see, which minutes. number was it? Number one. Number one. Let me see if I can find. There is the song, Say I'm your number one. Okay. <laughs> uh, Aqua Quick, number one. Okay, we don't have a player number one here. All right. So, sorry, anyone knows who is number one? Um. Okay, um, timeout uh, white uh, because of this uh, time penalty for one of the players. They have to organize uh, their system. We don't know which position is played, but it's always uh, a now point of... Now one normally of, uh, is a goalkeeper, no normally, okay. but we don't know. Reinhard Schottmüller here, the, and, and the, 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 the all-father of March. The Scandinavian goalkeepers have this white... Uh, 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 pants up uh, tape around their knees, tape like around their knees, yeah. normally those are the goalies. And this is tough if you lose one of uh, the, the, the main goalkeepers, 
uh, in a penalty uh, time, that's that's tough. Well, so let's see, see now, yeah. what uh, Malch makes out of it. Because it's six uh, for Malch and five for uh, Aqua Quick. So Aqua Quick needs to be really, really on top of the game. And a team like Malch will really try to break. Yeah, the that's Danish that's team. that's a good moment. Because that's this is the moment where it's, it's all, or you know, now or never. This is really stressful for Aqua Quick right now because they know. Victor Lang, goalkeeper. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he's a goalkeeper. Thank you, Soren. They so. Both teams know this will be an uh, uh, important moment. So Aquaquick really goes into defense, throws everything in defense, locks everybody around the basket and try to, to keep it as safe as possible for these two minutes without one of their goalkeepers. And March knows that too, but it, it, I'm, I'm wondering a little bit. Here we go. Now March comes in from the open side, pushing. Yes, wow. here it is. Goal, and now it counts. Third time is a charm. But, well, uh, it was already at the limit with six players against six players. It was almost predictable. Uh, that yeah, the defender was going on the other side, and he was thinking the pass is going. The number 11 under the basket was going on the other side and didn't see the pass to the open side to the March player. Very well um, executed and yeah, that's what yeah. I expected. And now it's uh, the player from Aqua Quick back into the game because a score has been done so the time penalty finishes. A score but has been done. I, I have to get, I have to steal this line from you. A score has been done. Um, okay, we have Mars now. Perfect. Coming again, trying to attack. Uh, Miles is dominating uh, the second time more even than the first one. Yeah, uh, especially uh, because of this, uh, of yeah. this time penalty. Yeah. Uh, so they, they had an not an easy, but they have a, a, a big advantage. But what, what did the number one did? I don't remember. I couldn't what the, the referee said. Uh, anyway. I don't remember either. Um. So for uh, uh, Malch now, it's just uh, keeping the game uh, in the flow and not giving Aqua Quick a chance to get close to their own basket. But they don't have to hurry. They have less than five minutes left in the second half. And they really can play it cool. They, uh, if they just keep hold on to the ball and uh, keep the flow, probably put a little bit of pressure on the Aqua Quick basket so the goalkeeper and defender are forced or uh, pinned down so they are just the time is working for them four and a half minutes this is going to be difficult for aqua quick here um especially minutes, yeah. especially because we haven't seen them breaking out yeah. yet yeah it's like 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 uh mulch like put up a gear you know on what they were playing in the first half and now they used their chance. They uh, they, yeah. they used the advantage they had. But now they are both with six uh, players each, and still Aqua Quick is like kind of. Ah, here we go. That was a chance for Aqua Quick. And the ball is outside the playing area, and probably it's going to be a free throw for Mulch because it was the white player that uh, threw it out. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's so Three annoying. And a half minutes. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bad moment. Like because if you push out the the player holding the ball, you can push him out. It's uh, you. It's, it's a free throw in your favor. So that's a, a common tactic used um, if you have a quick counter attack and on the side, and you can push the player out. It's in your favor. Three minutes left. Still, still, if. Uh, Aqua Quick uh, can recover the ball in a counter. A, a counter attack is everything they need, and that can be done in between. I don't know, 12, 15 yeah, yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's they a one, still have, but it has to yes. happen. Like now. Mm. I totally agree, Lorena. I, th this game is not over. Two and a half, uh, or almost uh, uh, three minutes is still time. But we haven't seen Aqua Quick going for these fast counter attacks with a danger to score that much. So I don't no. see them doing that now suddenly all of a sudden no i understand but then i mean yeah, they, they were much more in control in the first half and now but 
Malch yeah. knows it too. So they, what they need to do is control the ball. Um, and they do it here. You see them playing, safe playing, without risking losing the ball and risking their lead with 1-0. So uh, I, I guess uh, this game is over for Akro Quick. I have to admit, um, uh, I, d I don't see... Yeah, 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 but I don't see the, the magical moment here. The it's rapid not over until it's over. I try to not to sing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now we are in the middle, still 1 minute 40. And okay, Mals recover the ball 3 minutes away, 3 meters away and they're trying to bring it toward the middle. And uh mm. It's, it's so difficult. Aquaquick really should throw in everything they have, forget their own uh, defense, and go in a, in, a, in, a, in a full push. The last minute is uh, the all they can do is lose the game. And if they lose it 1 0 or 2 0, it doesn't matter. But they have the chance to equalize. So that would be. But against a team from March, that's not that easy, even if you throw in everything you have. 40 minutes. Now it's over. I don't think they can recover from that. And now it's over, now that you no. say it. Really? <laughs> it's not over until it's over, Lorena. Yep, but now. <laughs> it's under a minute. The ball is far away. Malz is keeping the ball in the corner. Mm. Aqua Fit just recovered the ball, but look, the Malz uh, for checking is really strong, so Counter-attack, look, 20 seconds. Yep. If they can pass now and do counter-attack, but mm, the match is too experienced for that. Yeah, they don't um, make a mistake here. Um, <coughs> it, it, the, the game was in favor of uh, Malch, um, even though they, uh, they lost the and two goals. And but 1-0, I mean, that means, I mean, really... Yeah, well was actually, without the fall playing, it would be 3 0. But uh, it, 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 what I'm trying to say is, March was in control of this game and was not scoring that much as they should have with the chances they have because they uh, was fall playing involved. But uh, 1 0 is enough to win. Yeah, now the audience also think that they're um, a great game. Uh, both teams really fought. Um, um, very, very um, good and fair. I mean, we had a couple of ten penalties and a couple, of but I think it was, I mean, very physical. But for the physical game that it was, um, it was fair. What well, at least it looked like. Now, one thing is <laughs> what if uh, we see here and uh, what it feels in the water. Anyway, coming up, the last game in five minutes. Hemelina against uh, Wales, Austria, Austria, Aust uh, Australia, it's too late, Australia against uh, Finland, and I have Lisa with me, yes, hello again, Frau, um, uh, power, I mean, uh, women power, I call it, yeah, yeah, girl power, <laughs> <laughs> so we have here the, this is what it's all about, huh? The two trophies, not the backpack. The trophies, yes. So that's the last game in the mail. Tomorrow we start a. at 8 o'clock. What's the game tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, uh, the first game is women's game, Vienna against Helvetia, so Swiss Austria against Switzerland. Okay. And this is going to be a nice repeat from the European Championships, where we also played against Switzerland at 8 a.m. <laughs> But right now, it's yeah, no, uh, right now is the last group game for the male group A, uh, because we already had Hemelina against Barcelona. How did they play before, actually? They won against Barcelona. How da -da -da. much? I'm trying to find it. 1-0. Uh, okay. And uh, Wales against Barcelona was 1-0 as well. Okay. So let's see um, 
how this pans out. Yeah. I think they play quite differently. Mm. Um, it's two pretty physical teams. Well, I mean, both have the... Um, yeah, I mean... We have, I mean, the on, on one side, the Australian side, we have a little bit of a uh, Colombian influence, and in the Finnish side, then it's just Nordic. So again, two different in theory, two different styles. So we're going to see how it's going to work. Yeah, but here you see Moby, for instance. He has a very European way of playing as well. Like he's from Hungary originally. Been in Australia, Australia for some years. Um, but both games, that the games that both teams played against Spain, were pretty physical games. So it's interesting. Like I'm curious to see how this pans out. Well, most of the uh, men team have been physical, actually. I'm trying to think which one was and maybe less, but I mm. can't. Even, even uh, well, Switzerland uh, and against uh, Italy also, but not as much. Mm. Oh, well, we'll see. Waiting. I think Hemelina in blue. Jesu is Hemelina. To oh. What's the second name of Hemelina? Sukaltayat. Hamelina Sukaltayat. 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 I couldn't it remember. It was like the Ulhal We did, we did yeah. yes, we did the challenge a few years ago. But the, what, that was the other team, was Ulhal Ulhal I know, I know, I know. Hemelina Sukaltayat. Soon enough we're going to be speaking Finnish, Lisa. <laughs> Let's give it another 30 Champions Cup. <laughs> Don't say anything, I will have to read the player names afterwards. Um, so... Um, so last Australia game. again. Finland. And that start, and Australia arrives it's first up. to the ball. Do we have Finnish fans? Do we have Aussies fans? Come on, show yourself. Speak up. Cheer up your teams. I think the Aussie women are watching the game. Here in the, in the pool? No, back at their housing. But the rest of Australia should be sleeping. <laughs> what time is in Australia now? It's like 12 hours less? Mm, it's plus 10 from here. So it's like, ah, what is? 7 a.m. Plus 10. So okay, so now we're at the, the future. We're um, in the corner next, in the close corner next to Australian basket, and the Finns are trying to attack. It started quite tense already. We have um, the Aussies uh, into position. But uh, the Finnish players don't get very close to the basket yet. They're still like about three, four meters away. Oh and we already had. Blue free throw. And we have ah, the first foul. 7:30 a.m. So some maybe are, you know, having breakfast like while watching. Uh, They're the whale game. watching. <laughs> <laughs> I just had dinners with the Australians. I think I got all the very puns wrapped on me. Because Australia is waiting down. Well, there's a lot of fighting there in the in the, the goal close corner. End. Yep. Have to be careful when you go and try to get the position before the balls arrive that you don't do a full play by pushing with the ball. There's a player right behind the defender that uh, well couldn't attack. So the stream is offline apparently. Uh, 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 Let's see. I can. Are you sure? I can see the game in the. I mean, uh, life now is offline. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, I, ca I keep on commenting. Can you go see? Yes, I go. Good. And so the. Finnish are still trying to attack uh, the basket and now we have an opportunity where the back got pulled off the basket. Um, 
was a bit of a chaotic phase here. The whales haven't really managed to have the ball that far. Okay, and the fins are still fighting at the basket. Well, this is, you see it's physical when the basket has moved 50 centimeters away from the wall. Can you hear us at least? No, they cannot hear you anything, right? Or it's just the, 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 um. Oh, we're still offline. Yep. Well, the finish are really, oh, we see one of the fins have put his arm over the basket. Someone lost his, lost his snorkel. We have a bit of sur surface crumbs, and it looked like the whales got the ball and pushed out. Um, but then we had a referee call. Might have been an out of bounds. <laughs> okay. Can you? Um, okay. The okay, we're back online. Okay, great. We're Perfect. back online. Thanks for telling us. Okay, I'm not sure what the call was. I couldn't hear anything that the referee said, but the break means that um, the referees could push the basket back to the wall. Ready? So five minutes left from the first half, Emelina. And uh, whale from Australia, zero zero. Let's see. Right now, who do you think is um, dominating the game? Because I missed the minutes. Uh, I was curious. The fans they were attacking the first five minutes almost nonstop. They were um, moving the ball around the the whale's basket, and whales were kind of struggling to recover the ball. Oh, now we had the ball that got the pass that got a bit messy, and this looks like pushing. Blue free throw, ball out of surface. Ah. So, ball out of bounds. Right. Also hype. Um, uh, free throw for Hamelin now. Let's see. Well, the ball is on the half of the whale team. They're on the corner, the Finnish team. They're trying to come. Well, now it's like, oh, oh. that. Oh, that's really almost. Well I mean, there was, was there four was a players. Very in good save. Two that was really that almost was a miracle. That <laughs> was a very good save by I the back that who came yeah. and uh, it almost looked in. We'll have to be very, very careful. The um, Himalina has very experienced players that have been playing in Champions Cup uh, before, playing the Euro League before, playing the World Championship before. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. It's free throw for defense, again, for holding, again. Um, what I've been seeing is every time there is crumbs, they're kind of, like the whale should have a bit more players underneath because it goes to the surface and then there is no one waiting for the ball Exactly. Underneath. I mean, when you have two people, it, that should be this. Two people on the ball. Everyone else should be distributing, trying to be underneath to get it. The moment you have two, three, four players there is a waste of resources. You're putting everyone away. The moment that that ball fell, because when it, when it fell down, mm -hmm. then that's when counter-attack counter happens and goal happen. Yeah, maybe a second person there to push this crumb away. Okay, and referee call again. Uh, holding, holding without ball. Oh, for the whale this time. Holding. Wide free throw. Holding. So free throw for um, Australia. So far, I'm not very impressed by this game. I have to say, it's it's a little bit like mm, teams are trying to mm, oh establish yeah. their tactic and has been working so far more for for the Finnish teams, I how and that the Aussies are kind of reacting a little bit more, but mm. Mm. there's still not a lot of action going on. Yeah, the Finns are managing to move the ball around the basket a bit more. And the 
problem that the whales seem to have is that when they recover the ball, they make a pass and it gets intercepted. That seems to be their problem at the moment. We so have some good forechecking from the whales, trying to go for the ball, staying between the defensive block and the ball. But now we're missing a forward. We just had two people on the water. Good, yep. number 28 got the ball, is pushing out, and he has support there. Can they get the ball? Now, see, again, you don't have any Aussie player underneath, and now it looks yeah. like the Finns are just pushing out to go yeah. out of bounds. Normally, That's gonna if, be you're clever, if you're clever and you have a player from the other team that is not willing to let them the ball just push him out. I think and that's what the Finns throw. did. Yeah. That should be a free throw for the Finns. That's a great uh, tool. I do it a lot if I can. <laughs> Actually, it's an easy. Yeah, it's but an is, easy it, is, it, is it a good thing if it's like 0-0? Zero, zero? It's like something you do if you're stalling for time. But No, no, no. But because they couldn't recover the ball. So the, the, um, the, the Aussies were having the ball. And then you push them out of the... the um, yeah. The play area, know, so you create a, a, a free, uh, a free got throw a, they for got you. They got a referee ball, though. It looks yeah. like they got a referee ball. Well, that's the thing. But if you want to create like a, like a free throw, that's a good tactic. Okay, what's the call? Holding. Blue free throw. Free throw for Hamelina. <laughs> Thirty-six seconds left from this first half, and something Beeping happened again. again. I reckon. The Wales player must have gone too fast for the ball or not kept the two meter roll. Ooh, the basket, we have a Finnish player on the goal. Yep. Will they stay there the whole time? This is, I seconds. mean, really a possibility. 10 seconds and score for Emelina. Um, that was really a, a good. Um, that That's. The thing, right? I mean, uh, their experience and the use in the last second, and uh, they stole the basket, and um, Aussies were trying to recover it, but um, the player, the 33, let me see who is uh, from. Number 33 is Tommy Swamalainen. Yeah, as one Tom of the most, okay. one of those legendary Tom players. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and. The thing is... I know, Swamalatin. Swamalatin. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Swamalatin. Um, the thing is that he used the confusion of the three throw that had to be repeated very well because he had the first three throw. Something happened. Repeat. And I guess yep. the goalie just went up for air, but the second one didn't yep. go down because like, mm, what's happening now? And you immediately and had a Finnish player yeah. there. And that's very important when you have... Um, Situations like these, the goalie, regardless, even when even if the situation is clear or not clear, you just cover the basket. Yeah, cover the basket, and ev everyone knows that is I don't know timeout or whatever. But this is something that uh, yeah. Uh, and I think, the, like I think the, the back didn't even realize that the goalie had left, because in the situation, if you know you're by yourself, you just at least you like the starfish <laughs> spread your arms over the basket, yep. like so, no one can get underneath, and the one on top. Um, and these are the situations exactly that are being exploited by, by teams that are experienced, right? Is this or when the, the, the horn sounds once and then you are with the ball and then for the minute, for a second you hesitate and you yeah. know you know that if it's once you just ignore it, you continue playing and if the sh uh, referees want you to stop, they're going to, you know, clip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> click and it I think the, the back hadn't seen what, that, that, that it was an opponent on top. Ooh, they were trying to debate if it counted. Hear what Robert is saying. No. No. Come on, team captain, blue team, team captain, white team. So let's see what's happening. Okay, the camera is doing funky stuff, but let's see if we can hear what's happening on the referee microphone. Looks psychedelic. <laughs> As we said, we're in, music. we're in Berlin. I think that the referee deactivated his microphone. That's also a great angle. I 
I think that what happened um, is that it was a question whether they scored before the halftime or if had, if the beep, like the time yeah, was yeah, already out. And then they decided, yes, that's why the Finns were celebrating and it looked like the Wales were contesting. And this is the no, last because it was on the last second. Yeah, it was on the very last second. Um, yeah. And this is the last game tonight. It's okay if we take a bit more time to discuss those things. I have to say I'm very impressed that we're exactly, we're completely on schedule. Mm, yep. Really good job. And then we get the streaming working better, even if this Side morning change. wasn't. Okay, they Side they change. They changed the... And teams get ready. Okay, so the goal counts. 1-0 for Hemelina Sukalter. In the last competition I played, we ended up playing the game seven minutes before schedule because we were so good on time. We are like, well, let's just start. And then we are waiting for the referees. like, but I have to be here in five minutes. Not now. That doesn't happen very often. No, but it's good. I mean, with the amount of games we have, how many games are going to be playing? Let me see. Until the Sunday, it's 57 games. 64 games in total. 64, where? Oh, okay, that's a continuation of the page. Yeah. <laughs> they don't fit in one page. Okay, so the teams are now discussing a bit. Um, I guess the captain is giving the information further. I reckon the, the halftime is already over. Yeah, well, it's 1 0 for Himelina, and now. Um, the Australian team needs to see how can they do. I think it's still possible because we saw that they were quite balanced in the game. We didn't see anyone really being more dominated. But yes, I saw the Finnish using the chances to attack better than the Aussies. That's yeah. And they were in the Aussie half a lot. Like the Aussies had trouble when they recovered the ball and pushed out. As soon as they would pass, they would lose it. Or they would be pushed out. So. But the others oh. are fast. Yeah, and but... Passing you know. passed it directly to yeah, the fence. Yeah, instead of passing to the side, right? They need to yeah. maybe give it a thought about this. You arrive first, but, you know, take it to, to the side or... Or up or back. Okay. Um, now we already have three finished players at the basket. And the shoulder of the goalie mm, is a little bit too deep in the basket. Mm -hmm. um, we have three players from Finland, I mean, trying to get in position. Now they have the ball. Home back. Uh, this is uh, Jim. Is Tom here as well? Yes, Tom is number five and Jim is number 15. They are very, very good oh, experienced the players. Whale, the whales recovered the ball, pushed out, and look again, a scrum, like it goes up to the surface. Yeah, oh, but it's something happened. Yeah, referee call, referee call. White free throw, yeah. wedging. White free throw, wedging. Wedging, wedging. Yeah. So uh, there must have been an advantage of the basket before. Yeah. So let's see if uh, Australia can do something now that they are in the side uh, of, of Finland and uh, the Finnish are very good at keeping them away and now they recover the ball and trying to start the counter attack and uh, well the Australians are, are good on trying to stop and recover the ball however the Finnish have and they're going to be maybe a pass we have um, two already in position and the one with the ball is attacking from the other side. Now they're like in above the, the goalie. Can't see where the ball is now. Mm, it must be close to the surface. Oh no. That was on the surface down. Now yeah. coming back to the to the open side again. I mean, um, the Australians are doing a good job defending, but Oh, look, you have yeah. a, f a player in position to do a medla. Yeah. And I mean, so dangerous when they get around the basket behind the defender because 
Yeah. She cannot get back into position as long as they don't have the ball. And now they're missing it back again. They're saying showing up. So some kind of... Wide free throw attacking the head. Wide okay. free throw. Attacking the head from one of the Finnish uh, players. So there's free throw. Let's see if now Australia can take advantage of having a free throw for them. That means they move to the middle of the pool. And let's see if they can actually attack. I mean, no. I mean, the they finish. Th they didn't the respect step. the three second rule or anything. Oh, very fast at the basket. More than the three seconds is also the two the, the meters. Two meter rule, but yeah. um, it didn't look like two meters. But that there's always a discrepancy because actually a player from the opposite can be in the uh, two meters, but it has mm. to let the, the ball arrive to the other player. Yeah. But it's always very like subjective. Anyway, we Can have a massive <laughs> attack <laughs> <laughs> on the on the basket of Australia. But that the Australians got the ball back and now are counter attacking. And can they pass the ball without losing it this time? Yes. Good. Moving the ball around the basket, it's slightly out of the danger zone. And pass to the support player. And they, they he dropped it, mm -hmm. and there was no third player from Australia there to recover the ball, no support, Holy and the fence saw it wow. and immediately recovered it. But yeah. it looks like a surface scrum. No, referee call. I have the feeling there are more players of Finland on the water than. Timeout, white team. Okay. Timeout, white team. Timeout for the Aussies. And uh, yeah, we need to restructure a bit, or just take a breather. But this is like what's happened a few times now. That the others they recover the ball after a longer attack, they go out, they manage the first pass maybe, maybe the second, and then they have a finished player there, and they try it or they drop the ball or it just like yeah. slips out of the hand and they do a not too good pass. They kind of panic and that's too bad. Yeah. Because that's really not how they're playing against Barcelona. Um, they played way better this morning. Now it looks like they... Well, but it's also the, the, the resistance of the, uh, from the opposite team. So if Barcelona mm, wasn't that physical or was that tactically because again I, I have the feeling there are eight Finnish players <laughs> against the six which is not but that that, that shows you that the Finnish uh, players have like more underwater time and then they're oh uh, um, they have like Uvatsal God how do you say Uvatsal in English yeah, they have always uh, more players than, than than the others so and then they gain the the, the ball they, they're better tactically speaking. Okay, repeat on the on the free throw. I guess now will be again the problem with the two meter rule. Free throw for Again now Australia. we had a free throw and it got, got the ball got immediately recovered um, by the fence. Yeah. And they had to repeat it, I reckon, because yeah. they didn't respect the two meters. The two meters exactly. Again. Free throw again, you see the referee yes. at the back. Yeah, it's super annoying because that's the thing. If you let them within the two meters, that's time one out time out. Blue team. Time yeah. Time out blue team. yeah, but look at now what. Blue uh, team number 79 two minutes. What? 79 two minutes. Yeah, because of intercepting for, for fault play, for uh, not respecting the, the distance. I mean, I understand what he does. How much time is left? Like five minutes on the clock? I think. Ish? So what do you do? You create fouls and you lose time. You make the time. But they're they're yeah, winning. But I don't like if you win like this. I mean, you can use tactical. Yeah, tactical so fouls. Or not yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, th this. I mean, I understand why Which they do it. I don't. Seventy-nine is Akuluko. So let's see how. But they are dominating the game. It's not that they just. Because they were lucky they had a score. I mean, they they, they, they have more control of the game. And, um, yeah, but still. Uh, Did they play more, um, they're more calm 
done the whales more structured. Yeah. Looks like they know each other a bit better as well. Like they've yeah. been playing together for longer. Okay, free throw and you had immediately a Finnish player coming from the bottom, from quite close to the basket actually, and slapping the ball away. Yeah. Team warning, yeah, could have been on team warning. We didn't hear the referee what they said. But, well, um, the ball fell and an Australian got it and this they're starting a counter-attack. They are already within the three meters areas in front of the uh, basket and we have now three players from Australia trying to attempt to attack, need but a lot of blue players in between. That and the basket. They need more, more support here. Yeah, number, number 24 could maybe have gone in at the basket because that one was making a nice little corner for him to go in. Mm. Okay, so there's crumb at the surface. In the corner. Moving a bit more centrally. Let's see well what happens. Oh, and the big hold back guy got the ball. There's a question uh, from one of the Australian team uh, from the girls saying that there uh, should be a team warning. Yeah, I that's, don't what know that's, exactly that's what I just responded to. Ah, that it okay. might have been one, but we couldn't hear the, the, the refs. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the team warning is when more than one um, team player is repeating the same uh, the same. Maybe they, maybe they got a, a team warning and uh, one player got no, up. No, but she know. said that it, that should be, but um, It could be. We, we don't know what happened. No. Maybe they got one. Yeah, I don't know. Does someone kick the uh, cable? We cannot hear anymore. So, um, let's see. Finland now has the ball and is on the half of the uh, Australian team. Just and now it's attacking from above. Let's see um, if can do Ooh, the back is kind of holding onto the basket. I mean, he's just positioning himself, but he should watch out for that. We just have two and a half minutes left. The scrum is very close to the basket. And white team number nine, two minutes for kicking. Oh, white team number nine, two minutes for kicking. And now you immediately get two pins <laughs> at the basket. Let me see. Oh, oh, and they're gonna get. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Kaisa here is show showing the Wales player because he pretty much pushed the fin away from the basket. The number nine is Carlos Ledesma. Oh. Yeah, and look now the fin got. Back again, has one arm in the basket. Oh, another player, 31 that's, that's is Chalo, out, Gonzalo Serna. Yeah, he pushed the, he had a Finnish player on the basket. It's and he pushed him away, yeah, you not can't so discreetly. Without a ball. Yeah. Ooh, and now we're playing four against six and they have a Finn on their goal. Hmm. Just one minute left on the clock. Yeah, the one. whales managed to get the ball, counter attack, they pushed it forward. Past two. And now they need to go back quickly because they lost the no, ball. No, look, they're there in the middle of no, the field. Yes. But what I mean is that they have to you know, regroup and, and, yeah. and be back because uh, Emelina can very quickly. Now it's two against three from uh, Australia. Well, the whole team is on the water. And yeah, um, 20 seconds, one zero. Still, I mean, it has been, even though um, the Finnish team has been dominating, it was not really easy for them to score. Mm -mm. But okay, referee call. White team, two minutes. Again? Five players in the water. Two yeah. minutes. Oh, Vexel White fella. Player. Yeah, they th th that's what I thought because like there's two down yeah. and like too many. Oh no, they have they have they should have had just four players in water. They had five, so now another player out. Yeah, but the game is over. But the game is over. It's one zero for um, 
If I really know. Oh, that was, that was chaotic at the end. That's too bad because they were like, they put a lot of energy for this last minute or two, or is it just. Well, yeah, but I guess it's. They, they were five everybody. instead of four, so that's why I'm like, wow, they did very well for four players. Yeah, they were five. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to know how the, the jet lag is, you know, um, they've been here having an impact. In they've been here for a week. Yeah, but it takes around 10 days until it's over. And we're talking about how many, 10 hours or 12? I don't know from all ten. over that are coming. No, from Sydney, it's 10 hours. But okay, it's <laughs> only <laughs> just 10 hours. And it takes for the body around... Uh, but they're young. It doesn't matter. The the, the uh, circadian rhythm is circadian rhythm. And it's, it doesn't matter how old or how young you are. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I well, think got it got a bit heated at the end, I think. Yeah. Anyway, that was an interesting uh, last game for the day. Yes. Um, good conclusion. I think it showed that everyone is a bit tired by this point. Yes. Also, half past everyone nine is, in is a weird time. Even, even if you don't have to deal with jet lag, it's quite, yeah, quite late. It's 10 p.m. And um, imagine for them it's actually Seven. 8, 8 o'clock tomorrow, right? Yeah, but they train in the morning. Those trainers always go to, to training in yeah, the morning. Yeah, but they have been all night like awake. That. They have been all night awake sitting here waiting to play. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow we start at 8 o'clock, Saturday. Um, uh, you can have brunch with other rugby players, meet together, enjoy. And the first game you can see is uh, Vienna, the women against uh, Elvetia, the uh, Swiss team. So. Um, I hope you had a great day, a great first day, um, everything is working better, we are uh, slowly getting back to shape. Uh, we have no more pink glitches. Exactly, here we are. Um, so thank you so much for being there, for interacting, for being with us, There's 180 people are still there. So funny. <laughs> for this Let's time, thanks for That's staying good. with us. Yes. So, um, see you tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow also a full day of play and all the way until Sunday. I mean, that's going to be really a lot of hours uh, talking and watching underwater rugby. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, interact with us. Keep us posted. Go to the uh, Facebook website of uh, the Champions Cup. There we update pictures, videos and everything so you can follow your uh, family members that are here, your teams. I mean, and so we have all fun together. Yes. Lisa, can you say anything? Yeah, the live stream will be uploaded for replay once we finish streaming. So I think we will just say bye so we can start uploading today's games. And then you can watch them again. Exactly. Have a nice evening. Bye and from us. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> bye.
Når du har vært i Nav, har du ikke den gamle